This I'm Bill O'Reilly reporting for Phoenix, Arizona tonight and in the what the heck just happened segment. Kind of a serious subject for Gutfeld and McGurk. As we mentioned in the talking points, a New Jersey woman got away with ingesting cocaine two days before giving birth. And all over the country, foster homes are filled with abused children. It's estimated close to 700,000 American kids were abused or neglected in 2011. Those are the latest stats. Question is, are parents today worse than they were, say, 25 years ago. Joining us now from New York City, Bernard McGurk and Gutfeld. You say Gutfeld? Well, I don't know. I think we're going to hell in a courtroom. Uh, we were living in a relativistic society where if you want to distinguish between right and wrong, that is seen as mean. And being mean these days is wrong. So that's why you don't spank your kids. You can't punish them. And the adults are always seen as the, the aggressors and the kids as the smart ones. Uh, this is a shame. I mean, the fact is these legal advocates hailed this decision. It was like a big triumph for pregnant cocaine users. This is supposed to be a great thing. Well, they, they, there's a couple of things in play. Uh, they, a lot of the judges see drug addicts now as victims of a disease. And no matter what they do, you can't hold them accountable. All right. But in your case, Gutfeld, <laughs> why has parenting changed or the attitude toward it? What has changed it? Well, I think it used to be uh, uh, admired. Uh, but I think the nuclear family is now seen as a nuclear option. It's no longer uh, seen as something great or grand to actually you know, create something. I mean, I'm a hypocrite. I don't have kids. I will one day, I think. Nah, maybe it's not a good idea. But anyway, I, you know, nowadays, I just think it's, it's not seen as anything special. All right. McGurk, you were raised in an Irish Catholic home, as was I. And you were That's raised right. on Long Island, right? Uh, in the, okay, in the so Bronx. Was I. In the South Bronx, actually. In the Bronx. Yes. Um, <clears throat> okay. So working people, ethnic people, religious people, and everybody pretty much was parented the same way. Got on a line, you got a whack, and, and right. it was, you know, there were some crazy parents, but there was a uniformity toward it in America. Now, did they go overboard, these parents? Sure, I think. I never hit my kids, ever. I mean, I can control them and get my lessons across without physical violence. Well, you're violence. pretty scary. <laughs> I am a scary guy, yeah, and, and I don't brook any nonsense. No. Well, thank you. Um, but what has happened, though? Um, that has led American parenting down this permissive road? Well, a, a few things. We, it's becoming more and more obvious we live in a stupid, hedonistic, selfish, narcissistic, immediate gratification kind of society. And Dan Quayle alluded to it a long time ago, got vilified for the single mom thing. And then President Obama finally got around to it about a week or two ago. That's a factor. And also these, these dope, the entertainment culture, these dopey reality shows, that perpetuate all these uh, trends that I just mentioned. Uh, the, the Kim Kardashians and the Snookies are, are having kids. These are like famous for sex tapes and they're getting drunk and, and exposing their privates in public. They're having kids now too. All of these things, social media, and of course the kid, the, the parents now want to be friends with the kids. They don't want, they don't want to actually uh, discipline the kids. Look, my mom used to drink a, a pint of Jameson every day when she was pregnant, but she didn't let me get out of line. She knew, she knew that she, I wasn't her drinking buddy. So, uh, you know, that's why I turned out okay. <clears throat> and by All right, the way, that's debatable, McGurk, but go you know, ahead. I'm conflicted as a, as a good uh, a Catholic uh, about the, not, not this whole birth control thing. You know, I mean, on the one hand, you know, should these people be having kids? On the other hand, my belief says that the birth control and things like that are a bad thing. And by the way, what did you give up for Lent uh, as a good Catholic yourself, Bill O'Reilly? Well, that's not, not to get too hard, too far out. I gave up. Uh, actually, what I'm trying to do is um, one kindness, random kindness a day, which I'm failing. <laughs> That'll at. never happen. I gave I up got, peep felt, shows. Listen to this. Listen to this. In uh, South Glen Falls, New York. Yes. 16-year-old kid has a birthday party. His mother throws it for him. Right. Judy Vigor, 33 years old. Now. 16-year-old kid, Judy Vigor's 33. Do right. the math. Yes. There's Judy. 80 people in violence. She invites strippers, two strippers she hires yeah. for her 16th birthday for the son. I know. I, I mean, this is insane. I mean, who gets a lap dance in front of their mother? 
Maybe if she works there, but then just wait till the shift is over. And who does? Who has strippers at a bowling alley? That's sacred. The bowling, bowling alleys are for bowling and stealing women's It was shoes. at a bowling alley, and, and the yeah. cops have charged this woman, all right, with endangering the welfare of a child. Yeah. But when you see things like this, I mean, you just go to my, to yourself, what? In, how could you possibly do because you have to think this out this isn't a spur of the moment hey there's two strippers come on in and bowl a few games and then do your thing this is we call the agency they come down my kid's 16 I got 80 other people there but it, it, you know if it was like uh, guy strippers on 14 year old girls those strippers would have been arrested and they should have been <laughs> all right we're gonna have more with uh, Gutfeld and McGurk and I apologize in advance